In this simulation, we have a burette over a stir plate, an Erlenmeyer flask, test tube, graduated pipette, balance, graduated cylinder, and a series of reagents to work with. In each part of this simulation, the procedure is nearly identical. We start by filling the burette with the 0.05 molar sodium thiosulfate by clicking on it. Then we add our reagent, in this case potassium iodate, to the test tube and click on the test tube to pipette exactly 10 mils of the solution into the Erlenmeyer flask by using our up arrow key. We then turn on the balance and add a weighing boat to it and tear the mass of the weighing boat. Clicking on the potassium iodide bottle will dispense the KI sample to the weighing boat and you can take note of the mass you have. Then you can add it to the Erlenmeyer by clicking on it. Once the sample is dissolved, click on the HCl bottle to dispense some of the hydrochloric acid solution into the graduated cylinder. After filling to 2 mils using your up arrow key, you can add it to the Erlenmeyer flask by clicking on the cylinder. Now we can begin the titration by clicking on the Erlenmeyer to move it under the burette. Be sure to make a note of the starting volume of the burette. Use the down arrow to titrate until required. In this case, we're looking for a color change to a pale yellow that persists. Once that happens, we can remove the Erlenmeyer from the stir plate and add five drops of the starch indicator. The solution will turn blue and you can place it back under the burette and continue the titration. The titration is complete when the solution turns clear and remains clear. Now you can read your final burette volume for your calculations and report. Subsequent parts of this experiment operate in the same manner as part A, but with a different reagent being titrated.